you're about to watch an episode of Juice Box TV. Thank you very much for watching. Please hit subscribe. Please hit the bell if you enjoy. Cheers, we appreciate it a lot. I'm with Will from Anyone's Ghost. You're catching us mid-conversation about something which I've written the first question for about their gig on the 29th of July. What were you saying, mate? <laughs> Let me just catch you up to speed. So we were just talking about how it's mad that gigging is looking like it's finally going to happen. What were you just saying? I told you to save it. You can say it now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. Um, what were we saying? You were just saying how, like, I don't know, it's just a bit... Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, no, I'm with you. Sorry, it's all. I'm clearly just. Do you want to? Sorry, do you want to flush this real quick? By the way, just... <laughs> this is professional. This is everybody. Pro. This is pro. Hello, my name is Will. Um, <laughs> 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 I I can't do it sincerely. Hello, I'm Will, and I'm from anyone's ghost. Um. Me and Mika are talking about our gig at the Horn on the 29th of July. So the, so the 29th of July is our first gig back that we've had booked for, well, for feels like forever since COVID yeah. began. And um, I mean, I haven't really had the chance to fully comprehend it yet, I don't think. I mean, obviously, I'm really, really excited. Um, but it's weird, man, because I can't remember how it feels to gig. Yeah, it's been so long, um, and normally like pre-lockdown, it was literally just every month we had a gig booked or two, and then we just rehearsed every week for that, and that was it. Do you know what I mean? That was like what we looked forward to, and then we had this such a long stretch of time um, yeah. with nothing. We were saying before, just before, weren't we? Like the, yeah. nothing to rehearse for. Yeah, and uh, which is I wasn't very good. For us, I don't think so. It's really nice. How, I mean, we had, we had the the period a few months where we were rehearsing for the EP, which I'm going to later. Um, but having gigs booked again, and so we've started rehearsing our set. Uh, nice over the last few weeks, and um, I'm sure it'll probably get tweaked and changed before then. But just just so like we're you know tight again. But just, just having something to rehearse for, man, is just the world of difference. Do you know what I mean? It, 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 it's really, I feel like we've got, we've gone back to, to, to the, to the best that we've been as a band, but yeah, I mean, I can't, yeah, it's going to be, we, we're very, we, we, we were incredibly excited to, to, uh, I, I don't know, I'll tell you what, I remember when, when we, me and you first spoke, I think it was just over Instagram. Yeah. And you, we were just saying about, it doesn't matter. You know, just being in a band is like, I don't know. You said, I just want to play the horn or maybe headline the horn one day. Yeah. yeah. And just have, and, and, and you're like, and that's, that's enough. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And we've, we've always felt the same, man. Just playing the horn in general was always a treat. Yeah. And we, 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 we felt very, you know, privileged to do that and, and be asked back more than once. But then to have our own show, is we, we yeah we were really gas man i remember at first we weren't quite sure because i was speaking to luke and um he was like oh, yeah talking about gigs and stuff i was like oh well we've got the ep coming out on the I've, on, I, we didn't even know what date it was coming out yet we, we actually yeah. decided that day I was like, oh it's coming out on the 30th uh he was like oh do you want to do a, do you want to do a release party show and we're like do we do you know what i mean and like, yes please and mate you got concrete 11 and i was with you as well so that's three loud bands back yeah. to back. And it's gonna Mate, it's perfect support, man. I it's literally love 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 concrete. I've never yeah. I've never we were saying we've never seen those live before, yeah. but um uh, the demos they put out over over lockdown. I was listening to them, I think yesterday actually. Yeah. The first time in a little while, and they're sick, man. And we 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 we've seen I think we played with all in motion, which I know I think Harvey and Callum were yeah. in before. Um that might be wrong though, so forgive me, boys, if that is. Um, <laughs> I would love it, yeah. Yeah, but they, they were saying, no, I can't, yeah, we didn't know about that either. We didn't know that they were supporting us till, uh, so we had, we had no say in that. So that was really a, a really pleasant surprise, actually. That lineup is the definition of bang for your buck. It's just, yeah. gonna, it's just gonna be a three hour long workout. 
Yeah. <laughs> gonna yeah be people, people are going to be too fucked by the time it gets to us. Mate, I'm, I'm still coming wearing the suit. I remember a year oh, ago, yeah. you were supposed to, who you, um, you were supposed to be supporting some touring acts, weren't you, right before COVID hit? Who was it? Uh, it was, Mika. Who was the Disney band? I can't remember who The it was. Estevans. Estevans, that's Est- it. I remember. Something like that? Yeah, I think, I can't remember if I brought the ticket off you. I'm pretty sure I said, put on me for the door and I buy it there. But I messaged you to be mm. like, okay, yeah, I'm wearing a suit to come and see you. Good man. Like, it's just, I feel like it's the, it's, you should allow a bit of dress up to see your boys. Just all these. Oh, yeah. We, we, we'll go suited and booted. Yeah. I think. I hope. I will. You will. I know you will. I will. I'll be suited and booted. Yeah. For the occasion. That's the big one. It's the big one, Mika. It's the, it's the big it's one. It's the thing, man. You've got to do it. It's like, it's that's what we've done in my band for a laugh. Just wear a suit. I mean, it, just, it just feels good, man. It just feels good. Yeah. Just for that half an hour. Literally. Take it off as soon as you walk off. And it's that's all you need. It's yeah. a beautiful feeling. You take everything off backstage. Maybe if you're lucky, if you're yeah. if you three, literally, at the night we're going to walk backstage, it's just you and the rest of the bands just sort of sitting there like this. <laughs> All right, make up. Oh, How you doing, mate? No idea. Come sit down. You want a bit? <laughs> want a bit? <laughs> anyway, moving on swiftly. <laughs> this gig in question, like you said, is the release party, the debut EP of Anyone's Ghost, a condition long awaited, my friend. Is it coming out the week before or the night after the gig? Have I got the date wrong? So the uh, night after long. the gig. No, okay. okay. So the gig's 29th and the EP is the 30th. Very nice. Yeah. Very um, nice. Man. So you couldn't have bit, we couldn't have, couldn't have had a better time, man. It was yeah. really lucky to to get that when it was available because I think there's gigs either side of the 29th. So yeah. Um, so yeah, oh mate, yeah, it's gonna be a big, big party. Yeah, midnight, yeah, exactly. Midnight, it'll be out. Exactly, man. You'll finish at like what? Usually like eleven o'clock. Get get out of your head. Get drunk for an hour. I think we've got to sort an after party, man. I'll come. It's got to be sorted. <laughs> we've got to go. Where we got to go? I don't What's know. Um. Yeah, we have to sort of something. We we'll just get a mini bus or something. Yeah. Or mini, or just and just. I don't know. I don't know what we do yet, but we it's got to be done. Yeah, it's got to no, be done. I agree, man. We'll do you no, know, it doesn't matter that it's a Thursday because doesn't all matter. we have hey, is yeah. that moment. All we have is that moment. <laughs> and we'll work the next day. Does not matter. It's true. I know people that have already booked work off the next day, and they're 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 the true heroes. I don't feel like you'll directly approach the past year. In the, I mean, I've read the lyrics what you sent me of them. Nothing. Oh yeah. Like, <laughs> I haven't heard it, but I've read it. Nothing is directly addressing it. However, I feel like knowing you, you've had a lot of time to think about what to channel into the lyrics. So what can be expected of this EP? Lyrically, sonically, thematically, all of that. I want oh, Where do we start, Mika? I know, I, know, start? I, know, I know, I know. For the bits you sent me, I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> it's not directly about lockdown at all, yeah. really, but there's no doubt that that has had a massive impact on... The, the band, the lyrics, me. Do you know what I mean? Everyone, Everyone. as a person, yeah. as a band, because uh, it's such a... Um, I mean, it's written in completely unprecedented times. Yeah. So, and I, I mean, I think a lot of the... Sorry, I think a lot of the themes could be related, you know. Yeah. Things like um, isolation. I mean, not literally isolation, but as in, as in feeling alone. And But and the things that can, can grow when you spend a lot of time on your own or not working or such stuff like that, um, like media consumption and stuff like that as well, I guess. Um, but the general themes for the EP, I mean, I, I don't like to say too much. I mean, I can talk about the themes, but as in closer to the time, if I was to break down the lyrics, I, I don't like doing that as much because you can it's about how you interpret it yes and yes. if 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 someone listened to that and thought oh look, this this means this to me and then i said blah, 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 this is what i yeah. do you know what i mean and then and then it was, then it might it might take away yeah from uh how, how they perceive the song and and it, I think that's the that's the good thing with music. It should be left to perceive. But I'll, I'll talk about the the, the general themes because yeah. th- th- that's I guess different. But um, 
So I'm quite, I'm, my, 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 the, the, the cogs Thanks are turning in my it. brain. Don't worry about right it. Now. I'm with you. I'm with you. It, it, I was reading, I'll tell you what, I was, I was reading a lot about, yeah. it, I, I think it's quite sociology yeah. influenced and okay. psychology. And, but, but it's about, it, it's about fear and, um, sort of, it's, it really, it's about human condition, mm. I'd say. It's, a, it's an explanation of, a hum, of the human condition and, and why people fear things and the fact that we're actually, we fear fear itself. Yeah. Because most of it is irrational. Do you know what I mean? So, like, because... If I go on too long, then I apologise. But because... Um, because we have a conscience which makes makes us different from from animals right so yeah. you, you if you if you have a, if you have a, a you know a fully working conscience you can comprehend that you're going to die mm-hmm. and everyone around you is going to die yeah and you're going to face humiliation and rejection and pain and loss and grief Do you know what i mean but you, you you fear that yeah you fear that happening do you know what I mean? Does that make sense? No, no, literally, no. I, I think about these things a lot, just in my own life, in general, like whether I'm yeah. alone with people, busy or not, like, I often wonder if there was a way for me to turn off the conscious in myself, or just ignore it, if I can just live like an animal, in a sense, just, like, live yeah. my life and just know that I'm going to die, but just sort of live until I die, because, like, no one's, I'm not going to know I'm going to die, the lights are going to go out for me, you know? Everyone else will know that I'm dead, but for me, I'm dead. It's back to the void where I came yeah. from, you know? Like, yeah. would it be simpler then? Or do, I th- or do you think that it's wrong for me as a human to ignore the fact that I have a consciousness to even uh, like, think I mean, of, you know? like, <sighs> No. Well, it's a no. tough one. And it's this, a tough this, one. This, a tough one. This is the, the uh, following on from that, um, it, it, a large part of the EP is, is about... Um, sort of it sounds a lot darker than than it than it is yeah. well i mean if it, well, i guess technically it is quite dark but it's not really because it's it's not coming from a dark place it's just it's what it is but um it's more yeah like the inevitability inevitability of 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 death and stuff yeah and like but then but the, but and I, I read another book around the same time um called the power of now I've heard and, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. And um, that 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 is going on about what you're saying. But, but, so it, it wouldn't be. I mean, I don't think you could. It would be impossible to switch off your consciousness. You can't turn it off. You no. can't turn it off. It's, it's unless unless you <laughs> unless you die. And uh, yeah. but what you can do is train it to be an asset. And and so the power uh, so another large theme of the ep is living in the now how much do you think about would you say is about the past or the future oh dude you are li- i forget because i used to i've been kind of going off it recently but i used to meditate a lot with that headspace app and they'll, yeah. they'll, they'll prompt you during the thing like like on your phone or when you're in a session and i think it's like you spend like 80 percent of a daily day just in your own head not actually what this is right now and you can still be, to say you can be at work you can still be pouring pipes and chatting to the customers or whatever but in your head you're still thinking about your first kiss or in your head you're still thinking about oh yeah what happened to me in 10 years you're never truly here you're never here exactly and that that's i think that's probably one of the biggest well i'm not it's not for me to say what's the problem with the world or not but um yeah i think i think we'd be a lot happier if yeah we we'd and I, and, but you know i'm i, I I'm the same, and I'm, I don't know. If, I, I wouldn't say I'm much better now, anyway. But it opened my eyes a lot, anyway. And and so a lot of the EPs about about living, trying to trying to live in the present because that's all you ever have. The past and the future don't exist, really, do yeah. they? The, the past is only is is a memory of how you perceive the past. Yeah. But if two people went through the exact same thing, it's perceived differently. Yeah. I mean, it's a very interesting. It's a, it's a, it's a very interesting. Sub- I guess it's all sort of sociology based, but, it, but there's a lot of go, going back to the fear thing. It was a lot of, I read a book called my age of anxiety right. by Scott, someone. Nice. And, um, uh, that was really good. And, but, but, and it's all about just where did, I mean, I, 
we live in a world where I know more people that suffer from mental health problems than, than don't. Mm. Yeah, yeah. That's a problem, surely. Yes. But having this fully working conscience and being, knowing that all these terrible things are inevitable, why wouldn't you be anxious or depressed? Well, Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Like, it, it, yeah, the, we live in a, So everyone, fear, anyone that has a fully working conscience is, ha, fears. Yeah. And fears these things. And but but and but but anxiety doesn't really have a definition as such. If you if you Google a definition, it's just the symptoms, which are quite broad anyway, because it depends on person to person. But anxiety, fear, phobia, yeah, same sort of uh, thing. So, oh, I don't I don't really know where I was going with it. But um, right. that, it's it's a beautiful world, but the people are horrible. You know, like yeah, yeah. It, it, I mean, we are sort of f-ing it up quite. <laughs> quite a yeah, bit record speed record um time. yeah so that that that's what it, it, it explore it the ep explores that and it also explores social media which i'm sure people that know me are probably sick of me talking about and um yeah. media in general and and feeling like which i guess this is i i imagine was quite a prominent feeling for a lot of people over lockdown is the the, the, the first single that's coming out on june the 4th um, rounds, baby. As a that's really about feeling quite pointless. Yeah. And you like what? You know what am I doing? What is the point? What, what's at the end of the road? Um. And stuff, you know, like, but but, you know, like one of the lines like life is live and search for the answer, but what's the question? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like um. So that's so feeling like a bit sort of. Yeah, like you're just a bit, a bit lost and stuff. You, you know, you just don't know where you're going, and that's fine because no, no one knows what they're doing really. Literally, man, pointlessness is the. Anyone that says like people that well, I know people that they go like, yeah, I'm gonna finish uni, and then we go to uh, India for a year, and then I'm gonna come back to Man. I was like, that's great. I mean, don't get me wrong, you, you have a rough idea of what you're doing, but it's more yeah. about fact, accepting that you haven't got to give what life's gonna throw at you, mm-hmm. and you sometimes feel like ah, you know, things don't quite go how you, how you plan. But the, the overall message, really, of the EP is that all, although this is all quite morbid and sad and, well, oh, we're all going to die. Um, yeah. Well, actually, no. no. That's why you got to look and live in the moment and try and make the most of what you have. Yeah. And uh, simple, you know, look at the simple, find the simple pleasures in life. And this is like, look, look at life for a simple way. It's just like do things just because you like it well you know like well, yeah, man is is pointlessness is the ultimate point you know like if you're you if you're going to use like the fact you're going to die as a motivator to do what makes you happy because you're going to die anyway awesome like if like when people say oh life is pointless i'm at a point now where i just go yeah it is pointless and that's exactly why you should do whatever like, yeah. if you can yeah, because within no within reason, obviously. Like we all got, yeah, don't go stay, stay stay in the real world. You know, we got we got we got to yeah, earn, yeah, earn yeah. some money. And this is the thing. It's all about the balance, yeah. man. It's all about the balance. It's like you. It's can't... all about balance. Life's yeah. about, exactly. Life's about balance, man. You can't let the pendulum swing too far one way. But you got to let it swing that way to get it back down in the middle. Exactly, man. You, you got to I mean? work. You got to pay some sort of rent. There's always got to be something you got to pay for, and that's just part of it. It's not fair. It's not fair, but that's it. That's just what. <sighs> The thing, you know, yeah, it, it's all right, but it's all right. We say it from a very privileged position as well. Well, th- yes, this is the thing, yeah. And and it's important to remember that, but but it's it's also important not to feel guilty. You know, no, no, you can't feel feel guilty for being born more privileged. I'm not saying that people do, but you shouldn't. But it's more about accepting, not accepting, but. Um, acknowledging that got and not living in, in, in ignorance yeah. to it and trying yeah. to use 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 what you've got to the best of your ability um but i think to, to sum up sorry to sum up the ep it's yeah. an explanation it's an explanation into the human condition and there's a lot of themes but yeah. really it's a celebration of life i think or but it, it ends on a on a on a high note of hope anyway nice is that high note of hope still very loud yeah good yeah yeah good. i don't think there's a it's a very loud EP. <laughs> um but it, it, it's different oh should i talk I, can i talk about it musically yeah man go can on. i can i bore people to death yeah mate, i do not boring me 
I'm all for this, bruv. I love these sort of chats. I mean, I love talking to you anyway. So, like, come on. Yeah, this is a good thing. I mean, I quite happily do this anyway. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Regardless of it being filmed. But, um, <laughs> you drinking uh, a pond? Is that water? It's water, sadly. Oh, mate. Yeah, I'm not drinking this week till, till tomorrow, Friday. That's my thing, man. I don't drink till the weekends. Now, well, Saturday. It hadn't been my thing for a very long time, and that's why it's <laughs> become my that was your Because thing. the pendulum was swinging too far <laughs> yeah. that way. And the money was going. Um, yeah, but yeah, but me, see, for the for us as a band, it, it's quite easy to, to to think about how where the band has gone. We're a very different band from when we put the demos out and when we last gigged. Yeah, um, very different as people and musically. I mean, we're not like R and B guru. It's, it's still it's still the 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 the, uh, the you know the foundations are the same, but we've yeah. evolved massively and i think it's different you've got new chairs you can be like yeah yeah ex exactly the wall is yeah it's a nice mustard yellow it is yeah, yeah we, like, we like that anyway uh, <laughs> <laughs> we uh it, it's evolved massively and there was a long period between july and february well i'd say december when the song started to really form basically half a year where we were really trying to find our sound and where we were taking the direction of the band. And I think that was the problem because there was nothing to rehearse for. We we're just sort of turning up every week and throwing all it's endless. What the possibility is endless, and that's dangerous because you could go, oh, well, this is you know, we start something, oh, we like that, but then it just goes on and on because there's nothing, there's no end goal. It's just yeah. and we, we got, I think we just got a bit lost in that for a while and got frustrated and maybe just even just forgetting you know the fundamental reasons why why, why we do it and that's yeah. because we're four mates that like the same music and it's simple as that at the end of the day, and we like we love playing music because we've like, we got to do it because you, you know you've got to do it um yeah. but but the ep the, so, so the musically the ep has evolved quite a lot and it's um I mean, I'll, I'll throw in some some bands as as reference, I guess. But uh, like, I mean, like Swans. I don't know if you listened to Swans before. I love but... Swans. I love like that whole category of like Swans, Daughters, Black Midi, all yeah. that sort of stuff. We 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 emailed it to a guy. Yeah. EP the other not that long ago, and his reference, he 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 was like. Um, elements well, there's elements of like math rock and stuff in there as well and he's like black midi and, and like death crash and and nice mog, mog wide I, I've, I've only mog white, yeah, it's mog like white. mentioning bands i hadn't even really listened to before but um Did you listen to my you ever listened to mog white i know like one song man oh mate you would love them you love yeah them. i was shocked when you when did you get into nick cave it was recently didn't you, when you put i've always liked i've always liked him but oh, i've only mate. really i saw nick cave at, at victoria park when i was a wee lad at 17. You yeah, with, with, with uh, Carly came out. I was there, bruv. Oh, mate. Yeah, I, I was there. Me and, Archie, me and Archie were there. On the on the wall, mate. Uh, I'll probably have mine somewhere, I hope. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know. Because when you put on your story, I was like, he's only now getting to Nick Cave. What? Oh, no, nah, man. Nick Cave's... Uh... When I saw him live, I saw him because I knew how legendary he was, but I hadn't quite appreciated it but it i knew that i had to go it was me yeah and now i'm like the, it's, he's it, like the it, best guy thing ever yeah it was <laughs> yeah changed my whole outlook on not only like how i saw his career because afterwards like, i knew like you know the quote unquote best of and a few deep cuts and i loved it all i was already a fan but like like you said to truly appreciate him like some people there would i wasn't there yet but oh, when, i was nowhere like, near yeah yeah but like Ah, uh, oh, mate, what song was it? It must have might have been Magneto at the start of the set. There was a moment where like some girl was reaching out to touch him, and he just turned around and looked at her and sort of like leant over towards her, and the whole crowd just went quiet. And then he whispered the lyrics, and collectively around me, I heard the whole crowd go, Whew. like just like yeah. he made everyone because Victoria Park, that whole you know it, like huge open yeah. space. He played when it was still light at the time at the start of the set. But he made that feel like it was just this tight room, like yeah. No, he, the guy's is a genius. I mean, a, a, a lyricist and a writer, and I, I, yeah, 
that's that's another thing I think has really pushed the the EP was was the, the lyrics and yeah. how much I was writing. And I know you've followed that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I've got so much I haven't had the time to type up. But um, that's been that's been like a that, that writing like that has been a real revolution uh, or game changer just in in my life in general. Like you know, people get home and play guitar. Like yeah. I'll get home and write, and um. I don't know what clicked, but it's something just, I think it's starting, it sounds really stupidly obvious, but I started reading at the end of last year. Yeah, no, yes. Yeah, I, I never used to read properly. It's easy to get, though, books, you know? Yeah, so and like I, was like, oh, I was like, mate, this is amazing. <laughs> and um, But, yeah, the, I, I love it. I absolutely love it, writing. Um, um, but I think that really changed. And, but, but, but but people like Nick Cave are, are, are prime examples of of that sort of uh, you know, it's the way they write and stuff like that. It's really great. And going back to that, it's actually the first time I saw Shame as well. Actually, was that that? Uh, yeah, it was. That like, it was Shame, Saint Vincent, Patty Smith as well. She was Courtney great. Barnett. Courtney Barnett. Who else was there? Psychedelic Furs. What a good like sixty yeah. quid ticket. What a lineup! Yeah, me and Archie copped resale tickets because you know it was a free it was free day festival, but like different yeah. one day festivals. We went to the other two. We saw the national the day before. Oh, mate! I was supposed to go to the um, catfish one, not to see catfish. I was supposed to go um, see Frank Carter there, but I didn't go in the end. <laughs> it was such a quick. Not to see catfish. Not to, not to see cat. No, no, no. I, I like see... catfish. Were well, national playing the... before Nick? On the Saturday, yeah. Wow, the national headline wow. on a Saturday. It was the it, I've seen them three times, and that was the best I've seen them, man. They were Dude. unreal. You know how much I love the national. Go back to the EP, I feel like we, okay. we can drift off topic. Right. Um, yeah, so that, that, that that's there's a lot of there's a lot more influences. It's not it's not really like the demos, not in a bad way, it's just a yeah. much more evolved sound now, and I really think that we've we've hit. So the first, the first single is probably about as straightforward. It's a, do you know what I mean? You're going to know about it's it. It's a comeback single. It's a proper, it's a single. But the, the second song, second single that's coming, will be coming out before the EP. Um, that opens the door. Okay. To the uh, new, to the, to the, to the new, uh, to the new AG. Not that we're new, we're still the same, but it, 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 that, that opens the door to the new sound. You could, you could you mistake the first single from perhaps maybe just a slightly evolved, more polished version of demo, but the, the second single really, yeah. Okay. You should be best fit. Yeah, we're, we're we, we, well, we love the whole thing, man. Yeah. I think it's good. Good. But, um, not, to, not to sound arrogant, but you got, you know. Um, you have to love it. And everyone, you won't love it everyone that's heard it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Everyone that's heard it so far, uh, we've had, um, quite positive feedback I so I, I, I if we're not headlining Glastonbury last year then we have failed yes that was a, a beautiful answer and like literally like don't feel bad about how you rambled because like, I do not care yeah it's sorry yeah. no mate don't apologize it's free rate and like again like I know you I want if you weren't rambling I would have been worried about you to be honest but like <laughs> I'll ramble all the bloody time knowing me but like you brought up so many good themes and so many good ideas there and one of the things that I've always loved about anyone's guys is how vocal you are about mental health, whether that's like men's mental health or just like, not to put a semi-pun on the band name, like anyone's mental health, you know, like, yeah, it's, it's a beautiful thing. And it's like, even though obviously, like you said, 29th of July, three really savage, aggressive bands, that's going to be what, a month or so after things at East again? I guarantee there's going to be a strange, people are going to be very weird without easing back into it. The experience of live music like so i'm wondering from your point of view and again like free reign say whatever you want here how do you see it coming back from a mental health standpoint how can we as like a community make sure that like we're looking out for each other because like there's gonna be people that don't want to moss just yet you know but everyone's gonna oh. be, in a nice way people are going to be agging it on but some people just want to stand on the side for now like what yeah. can we do to ensure like, as a community it'll be it's very daunting man yeah really daunting i mean yeah. I, I work in a pub and it's daunting yeah, having people inside next week. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's just the unknown, and you're not. You, it's very easy to become con conditioned to, yes. to, 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 you know. So, uh, conditioned to going to London every week and working all the time and seeing yeah. hundreds of people, and then conditioned to seeing nobody and spending half a year in your room. 
and then to, to come out of that is quite uh, yeah it's difficult and it, I imagine it will be difficult for other people and, it, and it, it's easy to yeah I can imagine some people won't want to or won't feel comfortable whether it be because of COVID or, or just because of you know that conditioning or it, it's a very it, it's a, this whole year has been a complete time of uncertainty yes and that's that I think that's a, will provoke anyone's mental health you know you almost got a fucking skeevy what's going on <laughs> but what, what's going to happen and you're like ah you know you know what do you do you know it's just, so it's crazy but i think the best way to, to deal with that is be open-minded and objective and and listen yes yeah to everyone i think listen listening to that and, and don't get carried away in your own excitement well, we I mean do but, do, but don't, no. yeah, don't balance yeah Balance. don't um don't swing too far to one side of your own pendulum and knock someone else's over yeah yeah, yeah. exactly i couldn't have put it better myself like, yeah. um <laughs> they yeah just listen man just 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 be open to 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 how people feel and um just be kind I know it sounds really stupidly obvious but just 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 be kind to people man life's too short fun. and it doesn't matter if people disagree with you or your opinion is something else you know right right and wrong is subjective my right is your wrong your wrong is my right yeah probably not not, not all the same them, page yeah, but you yeah. know what i mean in yeah. life in general um yeah and that's fine unless you know they're fucking like fascists or something or racist you know what i mean but like yeah. unless you're like a blatant a blatant villain but that is like, that is yeah. wrong yeah i mean as far as the majority of you know what I mean. You know what I mean. I mean yeah. I don't, you don't need to explain that. It's just yeah, obvious. Yeah. But um, and acceptance of difference, man. We'd all be much. I used to never. I used to always think that there would never be world peace, and there still won't be. But I used to never. I think it couldn't be done because because everyone has different opinions. Yeah, but it could be true. done if everyone accepted the difference and not. That's that's the thing. That's the thing. For, I have to fight it. I mean, if if like I said, if it is wrong, then that's different. But but in terms of just how people feel in general opinions and, and politics, and uh, which we won't go on to because <laughs> I don't want yeah. to. Um, yeah, and, and but, but but so being open and willing to debate. Don't just go, oh, you're a knobhead because you don't agree yeah. with what I agree with. At least it's all about a discourse, man. It's all about a discourse. It's easy yeah, to it's that. fine. It's, it's human emotion. Fine. Human emotion can really overtake the senses, and that's normal because you're a human being. But like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's, it's, it's another. I think in general as well, it's important to remember that if someone, everyone gets angry or jealous or might yeah. act like a bit of a tit. That's, that's, that's not, all right, man. But it doesn't you're, make. It doesn't mean you are a tit. Yeah, exactly. You can be a tit, and uh, you can act like a tit and not be a tit. Because no one's perfect. Yeah. But don't do it all the time because then you are a tip. But yeah, but yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it's important to, to 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 engage with your emotions and and be open with them. And that, and to help other people be open with them. And don't go or they blow it out, you know, or whatever, you know, or they're scared about something. Don't go, oh, you don't have to be worried about or or, or you know, well, you know just just listen, man. Yeah. And and be 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 there for a you know an arm to put around you know put an arm around them and just just be kind to each other yeah um life's too short man we're all gonna die one yeah, day too short. yeah mate. and it won't matter then yeah you literally, <laughs> my, my um my therapist she didn't say these words exactly but like uh, last year she said something great to me and she was just like because she was like you know she's like in her mid-50s but I was talking about things like this and she sort of just rolled her eyes at me. And I was like, what, why? And then she just said something like, life's longer than you think, but not as long as you want it to be. Yeah. And I thought that was like yeah. a beautiful way of putting it. Because she was yeah, like, she was like, oh, I'm mid-50s. Has time gone fast? Yes and no. Like yeah. I, I, I do feel like I am now in my 50s, but like it's taken a bit longer than I thought to get here, but not as long as I thought. You know, I haven't. I like she's blinks more than once. Basically, is what she said. It's not like I'll oh, blink and I'm fifty. It's like I've had a few blinks. <laughs> like it's fine. 
we'll have our time yeah. to do our thing, you know. And that, that's the thing, I, th- I think. It's just living in the now. Yeah. Because that's all you've got. It's so, you know it's what I mean? like, I, 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 my, loads of people, me included, for years, we'll always, always take the mick out of that. Oh, yeah, you got to live in the now, man. Well, like, it was a cringy thing to yeah, say. Yeah, it does really, sound very pretentious The reason why it's so cringy is because it's true. Yeah. It's cringy because it's true. You don't yeah, have to go to India and go on a pilgrimage to find yourself to do it, but as long as you're here, as long as you're here on the planet, on yeah, this just, just, yeah, just just bloody enjoy it, mate, as much as you can. <laughs> so just, yeah. And uh, love, man. Just love. And this is the thing. This is why there's there's more to life than things like politics and stuff like that. Because it's yeah. the things that you can't explain by science or whatever. Just, do you know what I mean? It, it, like, the important... The best moments are when you're not thinking yeah because you're st- that's that's the ultimate goal i think is when you're at a gig if i'm at a gig and i'm thinking about work tomorrow then this then you're not like, putting yeah, a good enough like, show yeah yeah if i'm at a gig and i completely forget that about anything else that's 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 the best and that's that's i think that's that's my personal goal as a, being in a band i think is for to have that on for other people when they're in it they're in they're at our show and they completely forget about all the other bullshit it doesn't really fucking matter anyway beautiful uh and that, that's the best but just yeah just be kind to people and that, it's as simple as that and just be yeah. open-minded and objective and uh don't be a tit don't be a tit all your life mate don't be don't it's not worth it it's really it's not, not worth it, worth it. But, you know, it, yeah, it's. I mean, I, it, it, I can. I understand why it does come across quite um, a bit like you know, cringy and pretentious and stuff. But yeah. doesn't matter. Do you know what I mean? At the end of the day, I think it, I think it's true. But if you don't, yeah. that's okay. Yeah. Do you? you know think? What I mean? Yeah, yeah. But, but, yeah. But, yeah. But, but, but in general, it's good. Yeah, because in general, we, I'd, I'd say we're both very sort of jokey, not very serious. Couple of lads, but um, we can be. We have it in us. I know that you. I know we got. I got it in me. It's in me somewhere. That you know. Well, like, I'm not totally. I'm again. I'm not a blokey football type, but I know after a few, I'm going to be going like, fucking like for a laugh, <laughs> for a laugh at least. You know, like yeah, yeah. yeah it, 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 you can't. You can't take life too seriously. Do you know what I mean? You can't yeah. go around saying all the time like, you know, all the time. But but um, yeah, yeah, no, exactly. It just yeah, yeah. Spot on. Jeez, will. Cheers. On a Cheers. Oh, nice, uh, nice, nice water. Uh, I've got water in there too, don't worry about it. Anyway, mate, I don't keep it any longer. This has been beautiful. I ain't chatted it again like the last conversation, proper conversation we had, Rogues FM, was a year ago to this date on recording. And like, I don't know, it's, it's interesting to know where we are now. Like, it feels like not much has changed, but for me or for you, but we know that it has, and that's some madness. And that's a yeah. madness. It's what a year, man. Hey, yeah. what a year. For everyone, it's basic, but we're still alive and we got gigs coming, and that's that's the that's the important part. Yeah, the the the, the heavens seem to be opening. I mean, I don't mean the rain today, but I mean, um, <laughs> but yeah, things look like they're on the up. Yeah, mate. I'd really be gutted if that went back now. Let's not, let's not mate. Let's yeah, not we won't. Yeah, let's moving. not comprehend that. My last. We year. are playing the horn. At the you are tonight. at some point, <laughs> mate. Hopefully, that, until that's it. Yeah, Mika, thank you for having me, man. I really appreciate you having me on this. Um, it's been a pleasure. Thank you, man. It's just good to see your face and hear your voice, man. Yeah, like, we should we... do this more often. Just yeah, about... I know. Like, all we do every day is just snap each other our faces, and that's basically it. And it's like, you know, it's a good little checking in. But it's that's just... love. That is. That's love. modern love. It is. It is modern love. And it's beautiful in its own way. We should embrace it, I think. Speaking yeah. of love, though. One last little quick thing. Is there any like little venues or bands near you, far away, whatever you want to shout out? <sighs> yeah, there's this band called Anyone's Ghost, though. <laughs> Obviously, what are they like? Yeah, well, uh, they're really cool, man. But the front man's a bit yeah. of a knob and chats Obviously. about nonsense all the time. No, um, yeah, now the horn, shout out to the horn for. So, managing all the local venues man that managed to survive yeah. and and it was a tough time it's uncertain for everyone and the thought of gig the venues not opening again local venues independent venues like that what's the point what are me and you going to do 
where are we going to go? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. so, you know, love for that. Well, you know, well, you know, it's great that they do it and they're back again and they're giving bands like us the opportunity and the platform yeah. that, that they are, which, which we are eternally grateful for. And um, bands, probably just the usual round, mate. Uh, Concrete 11 and O's for supporting us on the 29th. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, I had a lovely little chat with James from Concrete the other day. Um, so up the James and the Concrete boys. Yeah. O's, I'm very, very excited to see live for the first time. Um, I've seen Harvey as a front man before, so he's got a lot to live up to. <laughs> to keep, he's, uh, keep that up. Um, Ryan and Mark's boys, as always. As always, the dons. Uh, Lava out now. <laughs> oh, what, <laughs> a what a tune. What a tune. No, but yeah, um, up the Count Paris, mate. Big things up coming soon, bro. Big, big things coming soon that I can't, we, we cannot discuss. Yeah. Now. You must be excited. But no, I, I think. Oh, I, thank you. I think that's it. That's me done. Hey. Will, Raymond's Ghost. Thank you so much. Sinking, right. Sinking tracks, June the 4th. EP, A Condition, July 30th. The gig, July 29th. After party on the mini bus to Burko. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, get your tickets now, man. If anyone wants them, get them message the band because it's... I'll be linking. I'll be cheaper. linking. Don't worry, son. I'll be linking it all. Good man. Good man. Yeah. Uh, I can't, cannot wait. Best be excited. I'm, I'm so excited, man. I'm so excited. Oh, so, just, yeah. just in general, man. I just can't wait good, to, to, it's to, good. I'm gonna get that feeling back. You know, I lived for that for since we started the band. That was it. That was the most. That was the best thing was playing gigs and seeing people react the way they did. I yeah. don't even know. I can't remember. Yeah, do you know what I mean? I don't know, I, that, I don't it's like it's like everyone's gonna make sense again. Yeah. Hopefully, unless we're awful and then we we <laughs> we we've lost it entirely. But. Right. If anyone's made it this far, then much love and oh, well done. And I'm sorry. <laughs> well done, and I'm sorry. Will Pegram's grave yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Still well, done. well done. I'm Thanks. sorry. Thanks. Well done. I'm sorry. <laughs>